went to the church to render aid, and uh, he's a strong man, but he he turned around, came back. He, he just, he, he says, I can't do it. There's. We see one of the victims running out, and he came across the street towards the store, and he was bloody on his arms and part of his face, and we let him in the store, and he, we had him on the ground. <coughs> And uh, then we see he's telling us that his family's in there and, and that somebody had gone in and they had shot up everybody. And in a town as small as Sutherland Springs, it is hard to imagine someone not having some connection to yesterday's shooting. KXAN's Chris Davis met a man this morning who has more than one. I'm still shocked. I'm still shocked. It was a little afternoon when David Casillas got out of a different church service and saw his phone. We got here right after everything happened. Before some first responders. To see dead bodies, you know what I mean, on, on the front lawn, on the side of the church, you know what I mean? Uh, it's horrific, man. It's horrific. Seasoned investigators won't forget the scene. Neither will Casillas. He knew a number of people here. Including the pastor, his wife, his daughter, you know, their family. The pastor let his brother-in-law use the space to host sermons of his own once a month. I proposed to my wife at this church, and so, it, 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 you know, it means, it means a lot to, uh, to this community, my family. This community never saw it coming. That's why Casillas is here in the first place. Now, I lost my oldest son in 2005 to a shooting. He left Houston for small-town Texas to get away. Violence found him and hundreds more who call this small town home. Everybody's going to know somebody in that church that, uh, you know, that, that, that passed away or got hurt. Chris Davis, KXAN News. Yesterday, she